love light and blessing shamanic Awak priestess here and i wanted to make this video because um i've been wanting to talk about this subject for so long um i wanted to talk about uh the fact that i uh work with angels um i feel like angels are a type of entity or energy that defies culture i feel like um many people from various cultures backgrounds ethnicity race uh different parts of the world have had some type of angelic uh contact or communication or experience or have worked with these types of spiritual energy um i don't see angels as necessarily religious figures because um there's angels um in islam there's angels in christianity there's angels in new age um there's just angels and various there's angels in voodoo um there's people that work with angels in santeria and things of that nature so um i feel like um you know angels transcend that like i feel like various and many people uh work with angels so um I started working with angels very heavily um, when I started getting into spirituality, so almost like eight years ago. They came to me really strongly. Um, I started following Carmen Shide, and I had that near-death experience, which I showed on my paranormal video, part three. Um, and I talked about in another video that um, when I started having angels come to me, I was inspired to buy this book by watching uh, Carmen A. Shide's video, and um, I I love it. Like it was one of my first spiritual books, as you can see. Like it's all like it's highlighted and things like that. Like it talks about the various angels and the different um, rays, like angel colors. I mean, this book has so many things, um, different types of crystals that you can use to communicate with angels. Um, one of my favorite is celestite, um, angel light, things like that. Um, you know, just the different types of crystals for the different types of angels, different meditations. I love this book because it taught me so many things. Like it's the only angel book that I have on working with angels. I'm one of those people, like if I find a good book, like I only need one, you know? So um, it's really old as you can see, the book I've been having it forever, but um, it really taught me how to work with angels. So when I work with angels, I'm working with them with the chakra system um, through um, in, like color therapy, color healing. Um, I use essential oils to work with them. I've made oil blends for them. Um, I've lit candles. I've done a lot of past life healings with them. Um, I also work with the angels um, with their attributes. So for instance, um, Archangel Raphael here. Um, I tend to work with him or they, because sometimes Archangel Raphael could also be a woman, could come as a masculine energy or non-binary energy. So Archangel uh, Raphael, I tend to work with the heart chakra, with love, soul ties, things like that. So Archangel uh, Raphael, the healer. Um, so that's how I would work with Archangel um, Raphael. And then with Archangel Michael, I tend to work more with um, protection, okay? Protection and legal issues, adversity, things of that nature, um, uh, protection against the evil eye, protecting my home, things like that. Um, and I also tend to work with just angelic energy in general or um, angelic energy to protect my home, things like that. Um, I love working with angels because um, Working with Loas and Odishas, I love them, um, but it's like a, a regimen, it's very traditional, it's very like, there's just a certain way you do things. And I tend, with the angels, it tends to be like, they're not as demanding to me as like other energies that I work with, so I love it for that, that reason as well. And I just love working with them because it's just so, um, it's, it's such a light energy, um, it's, they're so protective. Um, I feel like they're they're easier spirits to work with, especially for like beginners. Um, and again, I don't associate them necessarily with Christianity. I know some people don't like angelic imagery because they maybe they've had bad experiences 
uh, with religion and things like that, but I don't tend to see them like that. I tend to see them kind of transcending that as well. Um, I love praying to my guardian angel. This book is like all beat up. My mom gave this book to me, so I'll like, uh, you know, have various prayers. I do pray to my guardian angel before I go to bed. So I do like to do a lot of protection work when it comes to sleeping. Any type of work that I do when I'm opening up a uh, reading session, when I'm opening up a misa, so a mediumship session, or when I am doing spell work or rituals, I tend to call my guardians and guides, and the angels happen to be one a division of spiritual energies that I tend to call in because they're so good um, when you're opening up or closing up sacred space or sacred time or opening up or closing a ritual a mediumship or anything like that um, i remember growing up my mom always had um, her angels imagery above her door um, to protect um, i also work with their sigils and their symbols and their sacred uh, geometric uh, signs and shapes and um, I've just had the most powerful, beautiful, profound experiences with angels. And even though I work in the ATR religions and, and Loas and Orishas and ancestral spirits, the angels have not left me. Like they're still a very important part of my practice. So I just wanted to share that with you guys that, you know, I do work with the angels um, and things like that. And um, I think that's why I love Right Away Smith so much because um, in the lovers, you'll see like um, Archangel Raphael in Temperance, you'll see Archangel Michael um, and things like that. So um, I just really love the angels. Why well, I gave the workshop last year, but I really, 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 really love um, angelic energies. They have been so beautiful. You know, anytime I've had experiences with very like negative spirits that are trying to harm me or someone sends something my way, like I call upon the nine levels or the nine divisions of angels to protect me you know um you know angel studies could be very intricate because they do have different levels of angels there's different types of angels um archangels happens to be just one division the guardian angels happen to be one division um you have your justices your principalities and uh, just so many other types of angels um, that I feel like, you know, everyone can get something out of it. So I really do love the energy and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I think that's why when Dory Venture was actually in the spiritual community, I resonated so much with her decks because she had a lot of angelic energies. And again, it is an energy that I love working with, um, because I do see them as non-judgmental, uh, energies beautiful energies beings of light if you will and um i just kind of wanted to share that with you guys okay so much love much light much blessings please let me know in the comments below um if you work with angelic energies have you had uh experiences with angelic energies um and things like that so hopefully you like this video guys and until the next video bye